most intriguing uh, piece of news has caught my eye, and it actually comes directly from Microsoft, who just recently posted a developer-focused blog about how the company is directly reaching out to developers and studios to help enhance the experience of making games on Xbox. And interestingly enough, Xbox wants to hear from all developers and even those who are not developing or porting their games on Xbox. Well, this kind of implicates something. It indicates that it seems that there's not a lot of interest from third-party developers to be porting their games on Xbox. But why is that? And I think this is also uh, why Microsoft is looking into this as well. Well, there seems to be a few key points uh, of concern. First off is lack of communication. Apparently, there isn't a lot of engagement from Xbox itself to, uh, inter uh, to interact with developers, and especially ones who are, let's say, like small teams, indies, one, develop one developer game, uh, game guys, uh, or even uh, B, stu B, uh, B, B studios out there, um, which can honestly hinder potential relationships and result in missed opportunities for games to be released on Xbox. Uh, and so this, there's a lot of interest now uh, for an effort to basically reach out to those developers and bring them to the platform. Uh, but definitely, this kind of also implicates that uh, there's generally a lot of developers out there that don't look into porting on Xbox for numerous reasons. And I think the first one has to do with the market. I think all most developers are aware that Xbox has seen a lower hardware sales compared to its competitors, um, such as uh, such as PlayStation and the Switch, leading developers to really just prioritize um, platforms with larger player bases. Um, and honestly, when you look at PlayStation and PC, I think those are the largest ones so far, especially with PlayStation selling a lot more consoles and uh, having very active player base. It's, I think currently that's where a lot of developers like, okay, especially on PC, if they're going to make a game on uh, PC, they might port it to PlayStation first before Xbox. And I think that's sort of the mindset that comes with it. Um, also, the Xbox Game Pass is definitely something that has impacted the market dynamics. Uh, the success of the Game Pass has uh, may have uh, may have led to a perception that players are less inclined to purchase games outright anymore directly from the Microsoft Store, which discourages developers from investing resources in Xbox ports. And that's where we talk about the ports themselves where it becomes daunting for developers, especially the smaller the team, that if you're gonna port to a console, you have to try to port to multiple models. So when you look at the Xbox, there's the Xbox Series S, and then there's the Xbox Series X, and that requires a lot of development time and, and, and just very complicated uh, development effort uh, to make sure that they are properly ported to multiple models. Uh, especially when perhaps these are small teams and they can't really, they don't have the money or the time to be able to port on multiple models. And so I think it just becomes completely uh, dismissed uh, to begin with. So there's resource allocation, there's development complexity that comes with it. Um, and the fact that just maybe X the Xbox platform is not the most lucrative uh, player base to be porting your games to. And I think those are some of the biggest issues that I think Microsoft is, uh, is having, uh, biggest issues with developers having to really feel convinced or encouraged to put it uh, on the platform. Now I know for AAA games, uh, AAA studios, it's no issue whatsoever to be able to port on old platforms. It's no, it's, I don't think it's, yeah, I don't think it's that much of an issue, but for smaller teams, indie developers, B studios, they have to consider these things at all times. So at least Microsoft is aware of this and that they're proactively trying to strengthen their outreach and relationship with developers out there to hopefully bring them to address this issue and this, com this communication gap, this technical gap 
and try to convince them and encourage them to be on the Xbox. I think at the moment, the Xbox, the Xbox consoles are the, the weakest in terms of the console wars. They don't, I don't think they sell, I don't think they have as big of uh, the sales unit uh, that is, you know, compared to PlayStation or even Switch. Um, but at the same time, I think Microsoft has had this priority of, uh, you know, their live services like the Xbox Game Pass. And I think this is one of the reasons why n nobody really wants to be buying an Xbox these days. And especially the fact that whenever they do come out with games, it comes out on the Game Pass. It's also not available day one on PC. And so that exclusivity factor is no longer there as well. And I think that also affects, again, the sales of the hardware. It all kind of trickles down the same uh, same, the same uh, path, and that is Microsoft is just not selling enough consoles out there to justify uh, a lot of developers to port games on that platform to begin with. But what do you think? You let me know. Uh, do share your thoughts and opinions on the matter right here on the Evening Buzz. Let's take a short... Uh, actually, it's time to wrap it up here on the Evening Buzz. It's the end of the hour, uh, but don't worry. I'm going to be back here for... More episodes of the Evening Buzz every Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Keeping you guys busy and entertained all throughout the weekend shift, only here on Pulse 95. This is Mikhail Tia signing out. Have a good one.